Hello, welcome to this awesome video on pandas tips and tricks and this video is going to be on pandas profiling. Now this particular neat package helps you profile your data on Python pandas in just one line. Now to install this package, all you need to do is take your Anaconda distribution and fire up your terminal and then type conda install pandas profiling. Now if you've not used Anaconda as a distribution package, then what you can do is you can do simply pip install pandas profiling. You can also go to the not install section and then look for pandas profiling. It should be available on the list that is there with Anaconda. I've checked that it's already available on Anaconda so you can safely do a conda install and have it on your Anaconda's distribution. Now, there are a lot of things that the pandas profiling gives us such as unique values, missing values, quantile statistics, descriptive statistics, most frequent values, histogram, correlations and missing values. So let's look at one example. I basically taken uh, pandas as PD and then from pandas profiling, I've imported profile report. Now this is one of the key methods that we can use to profile the data and it's just simply this one line that will help you do the profile. Now I can just import the data set train.csv. This is available on Kaggle if you want this data set, but you can use any other data set and then simply run this profile report. So it may take some time depending on the size of the data set you have. Since this is a small one, it ran quickly. Now, as you can see, the report ran very quickly and then it basically gave us all the profile report that we usually have to do it in uh, multiple lines within Python pandas or Python. You can see the number of observations, the number of variables, missing value, percentage, size, uh, the number of numeric variables, categorical, boolean, date, text, and all of that. Then it also gives us the top things that is how many of them have missing values and it's also giving the percentages along with it. That's really, really neat. This is something that we usually do when we look at a data set and it's basically giving us first uh, already. Now, uh, there are the variables that are available. If it is numeric, then it's going to give you uh, the mean, me, minimum, maximum, and all of those details along with the distribution. Quite similarly, it's also going to give you the cabin information, uh, which is a categorical variable. And then it sort of gives you the, the, you know, sort of categories and how many of them are missing, right? There are also some repeated cabins which are given here but uh, you know if it is distinct then it's just going to group it on the other values and show it then you have embarked uh, you have the missing values here fair uh, you, you see there's a zeros percentage which is also crucial to know sometimes and then you also have name which is the first and last three unique values since most of them are unique this is how they displayed it then you have pa parse, which is again numeric, passenger ID, numeric, we don't need this one. We have P class again, which is numeric. We have gender, which is a binary variable, Boolean sort of a variable, but it's categorical because it has male and female within that particular variable. Similarly, other variables, that's what we have here. And you can continue to see all of the variable names there. It also gives the correlation between the variables, which is, which will be the obvious step if you're doing a regression. And then uh, it also gives sample of the data set within this report. So, so many cool things available within just one line of code for uh, using pandas profile. Hope you like this tip guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.